Hi everyone, I'm Annie TP and welcome to my sixth walkthrough of Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. I have made some changes in my recording method since the last video, actually. Um, I got a, a small TV for Christmas and I'm using it to record, so no more bulgy TV. That should mean the quality of the recording will go up a little bit, although I butchered the intro, so... Yeah, Kirby 64 is going to be the victim of my new experimentation with this this new setting. So, hopefully it goes alright. Um, kind of not too sure about that those dark to light transitions, but I'm working on it. Anyways, I'm looking at the camera screen to record like I was when I was doing my Kirby's Dream Run walkthrough. I think I can be a pretty reliable source since I've beaten this game 100%. You saw what happened in the intro that um, fairy fairy person got knocked out of the sky with that crystal shine. It looks like that planet kind of got overtaken by Dark Manor again. It's so annoying. <laughs> I get rid of Dark Matter again. Oh yeah, uh, I think I've... This is my sixth Kirby walk. I'm pretty sure I know how to use copy abilities. Alright, so this is the world select menu. Obviously, we only have one level to go to right now, and that's Popstar, Kirby's Homeland. So, you may as well take a look at what's inside. And you also have only one stage to go to. Um, the planet icon takes you back to the level select. So Kirby and Ribbon are off. By the way, that fairy's name is Ribbon. I think it's a fairy. I'm not really that big on details for this game. So the... Let me see if I can do this. The first ability in Kirby's Adventure was Beam. The first ability in Kirby's Dream Line 2 was Parasol. The first ability in Kirby Superstar was Beam. The first ability in Kirby's Dream Land 3 three was cutter and in this game it's fire Whew. um yeah so abilities work for the most part exactly the way they did in previous parts this is fire or burning whatever people call it i get the two mixed up because of kirby's adventure except in this game you can combine abilities to make new ones uh, I'm not really going to go over the basic, basic um, controls. I'm assuming you know how to, how to use those. Now first it goes to Bonobert. Yay. But yeah, you see that those two fire icons on in the bottom right corner are your abilities. You can have two abilities and you can shoot another ability enemy at an ability enemy and you can get an ability that way. Or I can use the ability stars to get new abilities. So that's basically, um, that's a big feature of this game. You'll have to combine abilities to get 100% in this game. So you may as well get to know the abilities because you have to use them. Um, I'm used to just speeding through this level, so um, sorry if I'm going too fast for you. So this is, um, these big black things are called NZs. This isn't really a mid-boss or mini-boss. Um, there aren't really mid-bosses in this game except in the first three stages. Um, this guy does absolutely nothing, so I don't really consider him to be a mid-boss. 
Enzies replace Waddle Dees in this game, and you will find out why actually in this part. I'm gonna keep doing my normal one stage per part little formula thing because I think it works for me and the levels are a good, um, the, the parts are a good length that way. Just like in Kirby's Dream Land 2 and Kirby's Dream Land 3, you have that little um, yellow meter. It looks a bit different than in those other two games, but it works the same way. You, you pick up little stars, and if you fill up the meter, you'll get 1-ups, and your 1-ups are displayed in the bottom right corner. So for this next crystal shard, you want to pick up Bomb. Bomb is not my favorite ability to be honest, but um, you need to break that barrier in there. Um, so that will be your second crystal shard. The other one, I wasn't really talking, I was talking about abilities while I got it, but the first one is literally, in well, it's actually in plain sight. I don't really like to use the word literally because it's overused. Ooh, shiny! Holy... It's a waddle do. It's the only one in the whole game. That says something about Waddle Dees, to be honest. Are Waddle Dees just Waddle Dees affected by dark matter? <laughs> is that all they are? Anyways, this is the mid boss. Um, the big NZ guy I don't really consider to be a mid boss. This Waddle Dee is more of a mid boss. He's also got a health meter, but he has his own music as well, so he's set apart from the rest of the stage. Um, this guy is basically very easy to take out. He'll just charge at you, he'll jump, and then he, after an attack, he'll be stunned or whatever he does for a few seconds. So there's plenty of leeway to hit him, which makes him a very easy first mid boss. And once you defeat Waldo, you'll get your crystal shard, and those are all the crystal shards for stage one. Man, you know, Dark Matter guys are such jerks. <laughs> Ruin everyone's lives. It's kind of annoying. Although we have Kirby games because of them, so that's nice. That goal game, it's... I didn't, actually didn't talk about it when I should have, but it's... It's like Kirby's Dream Land 3 goal game in 3D. Um, you, press, you press the jump button to determine which direction you want to go and then you press 2 again to determine how far you want to go. And you can pick up stars, 1-ups, metamatoes, and that beige card I, I picked up is an enemy card. Um, you pick up an enemy card in the main menu, you can look at all the enemy cards you've gotten, so it's basically en enemy info on all the cards. I just knocked over a stack of books to end off the part. It's, that's my cue to wrap it up because I finished the stage, but now I'm going to start rambling, so um, I'll just say TTFN, and this video is actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Well.